Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled The Most High. Okay. According to Christian doctrine, you know, they teach their congregation that it's an ongoing and a constant battle uh, with Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and Satan. Okay, and if you have been enlightened with the Holy Spirit, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you understand that the Most High is the Most High, meaning there is nothing above Him. Everything, um, 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 every everything in the heavens obey His will, and at this time frame, Yahweh Shai has been given all power. However, He is still under His Father, um, Yahweh. But the point of this lesson is that Satan is an employee of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Genesis 14 and 22. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lift up my, my hand unto the Lord Yahweh, the most high power, the possessor of heaven and earth. When you focus on the term most high in the Hebrew it's Strong's H 59 and 45 pronounced as Ilah Yah one when you go to the lexicon, it states, the higher pool situated in a higher place, okay? This is the reason why the Most High is called the Most High, because he is in an elevated position, okay? Nothing is above him, okay? And like I said, the second in command is Yahawashah, okay? Now, let's prove... Satan obeys the will of Yahweh by Shem Shai. This is Job, the first chapter. And this is after Yahweh by Shem Shai had placed a bet with Satan that you can do anything you want unto Job, just don't take his life. Okay? This is Job 1 and 12, and it states, And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power, meaning you have total control over my servant Job. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand, meaning you have total control over my servant Job. However, do not take his life. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? And so this proves that orders that Satan received to do havoc as well as his minions come from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? Another scripture that proves that Satan does the will of the Most High. This is um, John 13 and 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Yahweh knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. 
Verse 3, Yahweh Shai, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from the Most High, and went to the Most High. Verse 4, He rose from supper, and laid aside his garments, and took a towel, and girded himself. After that he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then come he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Verse 8, Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Yahweh shall answer him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Yahweh shall say to him, He that is washed needed not save to wash his feet, but is clean, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. Okay, so Yahweh Shai is basically telling Peter, you know, and he's also making a reference to the rest of the disciples, like, yo, y'all have been clean, okay? They have been cleaned by the word, but not all. Who is this all? He's referring to Judas the Iscariot. All right? Verse 11, For he knew who should betray him, therefore said he, Ye are not all clean, because Yahweh Shai understood the script of the Most High. Okay? Verse 12, So after he had washed their feet, and had taken his garments, and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye said, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Right, so you have to be uh, subjective to one another. That's what Yahweh was teaching, and although we have heads of the camp, but as heads too, they have to show humility. Because this is a part of the truth. However, it's still order within it, humility as well. You know, younger brothers as well as brothers that have been within the truth, you know, you have to understand discipline and order within the humility as well. Verse 15, um, for I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verse 16, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Verse 18, I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eat bread with me have lifted up his heel against me. This is the will of the Most High. Yahweh was following his father's will. That's why he stated, I am about my father's business. Verse 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Verse 20. So Yahweh Shai is prophesying. Okay? He's saying, um, he's saying things before, it, before those things actually happen. Referring to this account. Verse 20, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that received whomsoever I send received me, and he that received me received him that sent me. When Shai had thus said, ye was slacking. Verse 21, When Shai had thus said, he was troubled in spirit, and testified, and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Verse 22, then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spake. Verse 23, now there was leaning on Yahweh bosom one of his disciples whom Yahweh shall love. Verse 24, Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spake. Verse 25, he then lying on Yahweh breast said unto him, Lord, who is it? And that he is referring to John. <clears throat> Verse 26. Yahweh Shah answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Verse 27. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. 
then Yahweh shall say unto him, that thou doest, do quickly. Okay, and the reason why um, Satan entered into Judas, Judas Iscariot at this very moment because it was the will of the Father Yahweh. Going back to the point, verse 18, Verse, yeah, verse 18, John 13 18, I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but this, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me have lifted up his heel against me. Okay? So Satan just did not enter into Judas Iscariot on his own behalf. No, it was the will of the Father. Satan was following that protocol. Okay, so nothing happens on earth without Yahweh Bashem Al Shai giving that ordinance. Okay, and at the same time frame, Yahweh Shai has all power and control given to him from his father. But like I said before, um, yeah, like I said before, you know, um, Yahweh Shah is still under his father, Yahweh. And to prove that point, get yeah, that precept. I think it's in Matthew 18. Matthew 28 and 18. Matthew 28 and 18. Yahweh came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So Yahweh is under his father, Yahweh. But at the same time frame, the Most High, Yahweh is the Most High because no one is above him. Okay, Satan is an employee of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, you are edified, shalom.